Welcome to Subject Soup. When a deadly infection swept across this remote island, no one expected the solution would involve airdropping thousands of cats from the sky. In the early 1800s, European sealers arrived at Macquarie Island, a remote subantarctic outpost between Australia and Antarctica, inadvertently introducing rats, rabbits, and cats. Cats were brought deliberately to control rats on ships and later on the island, while rabbits served as a food source. These alien species disrupted Macquarie's delicate ecosystem, a UNESCO World Heritage Site home to millions of seabirds, seals, and penguins. By the 1980s, cats were killing an estimated 60,000 seabirds annually, driving at least 10 species to local extinction. Rats consumed invertebrates and eggs, and rabbits overgrazed native vegetation, threatening the island's ecological balance. Island ecosystems like Macquarie are uniquely vulnerable to invasive species. Isolated and often species poor, they lack the coevolutionary defenses found in mainland systems. This fragility amplifies infectious threats, ecological, biological, and disease related. Cats, efficient predators, exploited defenseless native species like gray headed albatrosses and prion, which evolved without terrestrial predators. Rabbits, unchecked by natural enemies, fueled cat population growth, creating a hyperpredation cycle. Globally, similar patterns emerge. In Hawaii, feral cats decimate native birds. In Brazil's Fernando de Narona, cats spread Toxoplasma gondii, a parasite harmful to wildlife and humans. These cases highlight how human-introduced species can unleash cascading ecological disruptions. By 1985, Australian authorities recognized cats as the primary threat to Macquarie seabirds and launched an eradication program. The strategy combined traps, hunting, and poison, removing thousands of cats over 15 years. By 2000, the island was declared cat-free, a celebrated conservation milestone. However, the victory was short-lived. The eradication overlooked the island's complex food web, triggering a trophic cascade. With cats gone, rabbits, previously controlled by predation, exploded in number. By 2009, their overgrazing devastated native grasses and megaherbs like the Macquarie Island cabbage. Vegetation loss caused landslides, destroying seabird nesting sites. A 2009 University of Tasmania study confirmed the rabbit surge as a direct consequence of cat removal, revealing the interconnectedness of invasive species dynamics. The science behind mass cat releases, or their eradication, hinges on understanding these interactions. Invasive species management requires predictive modeling to anticipate secondary effects. Macquarie's initial strategy failed to account for rabbits as a keystone invader, illustrating the limits of single species interventions. Similar missteps have occurred elsewhere. In New Zealand, removing rats and possums to eliminate stoats led to stoats preying on native birds. In the U.S., Removing invasive salsita shrubs harmed an endangered songbird reliant on them for nesting. These examples underscore the need for ecosystem-wide planning and conservation. The unintended consequences of Macquarie's cat eradication were both destructive and instructive. The rabbit boom degraded habitats, but it also exposed gaps in conservation science. In response, Australia launched a $24 million eradication program in 2011, targeting rabbits, rats, and mice simultaneously. Using precision baiting and stringent biosecurity to prevent reinvasion, the program succeeded. By 2014, Macquarie was free of all invasive mammals. Native vegetation, including tussock grasses and megaherbs, began to recover. Seabird populations, including royal penguins and light-mantled albatrosses, rebounded. The island's ecosystem showed signs of healing, though full recovery will take decades. The Macquarie case reshaped global conservation strategies. It highlighted the importance of holistic approaches that consider entire food webs, not just target species. Modern island restoration projects, from the Galapagos to Hawaii, draw on Macquarie's lessons, using advanced modeling and long-term monitoring to avoid trophic cascades. For example, the Galapagos Project Isabella eradicated goats and pigs while monitoring native tortoises to ensure ecosystem stability. These efforts reflect a shift toward adaptive management, where interventions are adjusted based on real-time data.
However, infectious threats remain a challenge. Invasive species can carry diseases that persist post-eradication. On Macquarie, cats likely introduce pathogens affecting seabirds, though data is limited. Globally, diseases like avian malaria, spread by invasive mosquitoes in Hawaii, complicate restoration. Climate change exacerbates these risks, altering migration patterns and enabling pathogens to invade new regions. Warming temperatures could allow new invaders to colonize Macquarie, undoing decades of progress. Conservation must now integrate climate resilience, balancing immediate threats with long-term environmental shifts. Macquarie's story reveals critical insights about global conservation. It underscores the fragility of island ecosystems and the far-reaching consequences of human actions. Introducing cats was a well-intentioned act, but it triggered a chain reaction that nearly collapsed an ecosystem. The subsequent eradication, though initially flawed, ultimately succeeded through rigorous science and adaptive strategies. This duality, failure, and redemption offers a blueprint for conservation in an interconnected world. The positive outcomes of Macquarie's recovery are tempered by ongoing challenges. Community involvement, often overlooked, proved vital in later eradication efforts, with local stakeholders supporting biosecurity measures. Globally, engaging communities ensures sustainable outcomes, as seen in New Zealand's predator-free initiatives, where volunteers bolster eradication campaigns. Conservation also demands humility. Actions must be grounded in data, not assumptions. Macquarie's rabbit boom was a humbling reminder that ecosystems are complex and unpredictable. The broader implications extend beyond islands. Infectious threats, whether invasive species or diseases, mirror global challenges like deforestation and urbanization. Each disrupts systems in ways that demand coordinated, science-driven responses. Macquarie's success required international collaboration, with Australian and New Zealand scientists sharing expertise. Similarly, global conservation requires cross-border partnerships to address shared threats like climate-driven species invasions. Macquarie Island stands as a microcosm of humanity's relationship with nature. The release of thousands of cats and the shocking aftermath exposed our capacity to harm ecosystems through ignorance. Yet the island's recovery demonstrates our potential to restore balance through persistence and innovation. As climate change and biodiversity loss accelerate, Macquarie's lessons are urgent, act with caution, prioritize science, and embrace complexity. Only by understanding systems, ecological, biological, and human, can we mitigate infectious threats and safeguard the planet for future generations. Thanks for watching. Every story matters, from the everyday to the extraordinary. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your next world discovery. It's completely free and means the world to me. What topic should we explore next? Drop it in the comments below. See you in the next one.